Hi, it's Brendan from Deco Network here with my top five updates of Deco Network version 6.05. We'll start off with an extension of a feature that we had in version 6.04, which was related products for blank products. Well, we've now done related products for decorated products. What that means is you can now create related products just as you did with your blank products for your decorated products. And of course, related products are products that you want to upsell or recommend for a customer to buy when they're viewing an existing product. And it's pretty simple to do. Just simply log into your backend manage fulfillment and decorated products are on a store level. So manage the store that you want to add that decorated product to. Select decorated products. And then configure the product that you want to add the related product to. You'll see a brand new tab called Related Products. And here is that existing product that I already have. I can remove that or add an additional product. And just browse through your collection of decorated products. And I'll choose that decorated hoodie. Save that away. Then come back and refresh my page. And scroll down the bottom and I have my second related product. So just like blank, very simple and a great way to recommend additional products to your customers. So for the next improvement, I'm going to click over to Business Hub, which of course is our quote order and invoice management system, plus with production, shipping, digitizing and other production related roles. So previously in Deco Network Business Hub, our security was, was pretty flat in that you could say someone is a salesperson so they can access quotes and orders, or maybe they also do production so you can give them access to production or shipping or digitizing. But in terms of seeing other people's quotes or other people's jobs, again, it was pretty flat. So a production team member will see all the production jobs. Well, we've changed that in version 6.05, where you can now set up different levels of security. You first of all can set up a production manager and they have visibility across the entire production area where they can see all orders for all machines and for all operators. Then you can create production team members and they can only see orders that have been assigned to them from a production manager. So it helps you be able to manage or schedule your jobs or assign them to certain operators and it even happened when you create an order as well. So click on orders. I'll click on add new order and because I'm logged in with uh, this website's default account which is Sandra Robel our uh, North America sales rep She's coming up as a team member for this particular order or quote. However, I could maybe be a sales manager, which this account does have permission to, and I can assign this order to another sales rep as well. So you've got that choice when you're creating an order and a quote as well. Likewise, when you're logged into production, you can select an order, and it may be assigned to one team member. You can click that drop down list and assign it to a brand new team member. And then when that team member logs in, they will only see the orders, particularly orders that have been assigned to them. Now, the way you can configure that is in your back end, Manage Fulfillment, click back to your main dashboard, then click on Settings, then click on User and Logins, and either edit an existing login or create a new operator. And then you'll see the additional roles. So again, we have a sales manager. Someone has permission to access all orders and quotes. A production manager. Someone again who has uh, permission to access all orders and um, jobs ready for production. And then below that you have two team member uh, roles. Production role, where the team member for production can only see orders that have been assigned to them. Or sales team member which is a team member that can only see orders that they've created or quotes that they've created and not other orders and quotes. So as per usual, fill in all the details, save it away. We'll send out an email notification that they've been created an account for them and they'll have whatever permissions you assign for them, which could be one or many of those particular options. Okay, another really cool feature we have in Deco Network is now the ability to disable file formats. Now, why would you want to disable a file format? Well, let's say, for example, you really hate EPS files. You don't like them on your website, you don't like customers uploading them, so you want to turn them off on your front-end designer. You can now do that in Deco Network version 6.05. And you do that by browsing through to your settings area. 
and you can configure it by different decoration processes. So we'll configure printing. Then scroll down to configure designer. And by default, I'm currently allowing all file formats on my website. I can uncheck that. And then I can configure which file format I want, but not only that, where I want that file to be used or accessible from. So I've got a choice to enable or disable file formats for customers in the online designer. Enable or disable them in Business Hub, so maybe my team can upload certain file formats. And enable them within the stores as well, so they can't be uploaded as store designs. So let's start off with the designer. Maybe I want to turn off EPS for the designer. But I do want to allow it in Business Hub, and I'm happy to allow it to be a, uh, a store design uh, for my stores to upload as well. But let's say for SVG file, I really don't like them in general, so I'll turn them off across the board with all areas. Save that away, and based on your file format and your rules, those file formats will either be available or not available on your website. Okay, moving on to my fourth highlight for Deco Network version 6.05. And this relates to on your front end website, on the contact form, where we have the security feature called ReCapture. Now this little security feature is a standard feature that most websites use, which is designed to prevent spam or robots submitting uh, junk content on your forms. And you're getting all these, you know, random hyperlinks and spammy emails to your inbox. And it's meant to be designed that robots can't read this information, or programs can't read this information, but a human's meant to be able to read this information. But the reality is sometimes they do get pretty hard and sometimes they're just an inconvenience and you may not like them. And you wish you could turn that off. You now can do that in Deco Network version 6.05. And the way you do that is again, log into your backend, manage fulfillment. You want to modify your website pages for whatever page you want to modify. So browse through and manage that particular web store. Click on website pages. And this is my contact page, so click on contacts. And scroll down to the show contact form. If you configure that, there is now a new option to either enable, yes or no, capture. So with that turned on, I'll have that little form. With it turned off, that security form won't be available. And anyone, including robots and spammers, can fill out uh, forms on your website and submit that as a feedback or a contact form. Once you've done that, of course, save that away for that change to take effect. Okay, moving back to my dashboard and for my final top five highlight of Deconeric version 6.05. And it is now the ability to export your orders to Shopworks. So from your top right corner, click on Reports. Then browse down to Export Orders. And the first thing you need to do is create a export history. So either export latest data or export between dates. Once you've exported your orders, then view those orders. And on the right side, you have a third additional export on top of SVG, uh, sorry, on top of uh, CSV and Quickens or QuickBooks. We now have Shopworks export. Click on that. You can then export your orders from Deco Network and then import directly them into your Shopworks software. Don't forget to find out more and see all the other improvements, fixes, and new features in any of our releases. Head to deconetwork.com slash release notes, and there you better get access to detailed release notes for each of our releases, including version 6.05. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed Deconetwork version 6.05.